14th of April, the Hindu FAQ page. The focus of this article is WHO alert, alert on viral hepatitis. What exactly is hepatitis? Infection to the liver or so called inflammation of liver is hepatitis. Viral hepatitis inflammation of liver caused by viruses also inflammation of liver can also be caused with respect to medicine drugs alcohol let us focus on this article in this very paragraph the story so far let us have a look in the year 2022 India accounted for 11.6 percentage of total viral hepatitis diseases after China and this global hepatitis report 2024 having burden of hepatitis especially B and C two thirds of the global burden people who are dying with respect to viral hepatitis are mostly of B, Hepatitis B and Hepatitis C. This is 2024 WHO report on Hepatitis. What does the report highlight? Let us have a look. The paragraph again here. As per the report, the disease is second leading infectious cause of death globally with 1.3 million deaths per year. The same as TB, a top infectious killer. UPSC CSC mostly focuses on TB. Now, hepatitis virus. Please make a note of it. New data, continuing the same paragraph, new data from 187 countries. Estimated deaths of Viral hepatitis increased from 1.1 million in 2019 to 1.3 million in 2022. So based on this, 83 were caused by hepatitis B, 17% hepatitis C. Hepatitis B and hepatitis C are the variants or strains. Again, Half the burden of chronic hepatitis B and C infection is among people aged. People aged here 30 to 54. The focus of this age group is with respect to hepatitis B and hepatitis C strains. 12% among the children under 18. Overall men account for 58% of all cases. This is what the report highlights. Next one. What is hepatitis? This is a simple layman language. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that is caused by a variety of infectious viruses or non-infectious agents leading to a range of health problems. Some of them can be fatal no leading to uh, non infectious agents also there are five main strains the hepatitis virus referred to a b c d and e while all cause liver diseases they differ in important ways including modes of transmission Severity of illness and geographical distribution. In particular, see here, types B and C lead to chronic diseases and together most common cause of liver cirrhosis, liver cancer. Liver cirrhosis, liver cancer. Inflammation of liver is the parent and under this you will get cirrhosis is one of the stages I believe. Liver cancer is one of the viral diseases C continuing an estimated 354 million people worldwide live with 
B or C and formal treatment remains beyond reach. They are unable to get the proper treatment. Why they are unable to? We are going to look into this article and we will come to know according to the WHO. Here, why is India vulnerable? Why is India vulnerable? Lack of having access to good hygiene practices. Lack of awareness to symptoms, screening, treatment or not adhering to the hygienic practices. These are some of the major concerns. And going back to this, these chronic infections often remain asymptotic. In the sense, people are unable to find the symptoms. People are unable to aware of their bodies, liver functioning for decades furthermore the lack of widespread screening programs limited awareness about the importance of hepatitis testing significant proportion of cases going undiagnosed see here why india is vulnerable i repeat lack of awareness to the symptoms not adhering to or access to good hygiene practices and then Infections are asymptotic, undiagnosed cases. Undiagnosed cases continue to transmit the infection. This is what, how, how they are transmitting the infection. We will look into this soon in this article. And again, important factor contributing to rising number of hepatitis cases is increasing prevalence of non-viral form of disease such as Alcoholic liver and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. These are two important. On account of what? Rising the number of hepatitis cases. These two contributing in the rising in the number of hepatitis cases. And again, severe forms of liver diseases further compounding the burden of hepatitis in India. Liver diseases. These two alcoholic liver and non-alcoholic fatty liver and again continuing the same how can it be prevented let us have a look through vaccination and ensuring the coverage is the first step and with respect to hepatitis C which is curable with medicine and again, in India, number of deaths due to viral hepatitis aren't comparable to TB. Saying experts, said say experts, adding the cost of treatment is also among the lowest as India makes the generic version of the drugs with respect to hepatitis C. With respect to hepatitis C, not the TB. And again, how what the government of India is doing? Government's viral hepatitis control program offers vaccine to high risk adults such as health care workers. Treatment for both B and C is available under the program. Which program? Hepatitis control program. In the year 2002 and 2003, hepatitis B vaccine is B was being rolled out in certain cities and districts. And vaccine for children also with respect to chronic hepatitis B infection. These are the government taken past initiatives. And here, why is the report significant by WHO 2024? This is the first consolidated WHO report on the viral hepatitis epidemiology service product access with data for action. This report presents the latest estimates. Please focus on this. And also it, it also found that only 13% of the people living in chronic hepatitis B infection had been diagnosed. Approximately 3%, 7 million, had received antiviral therapy at the end of 2022. And hepatitis C, 36% had been diagnosed and had received curative treatment. So, there is a, the treatment for hepatitis B and C is obviously different. It 
C can be curable with medicine. Isn't it? This is what the why India is vulnerable paragraph defines. And again, the these results fall well below the global targets to treat 80% of people living in C, B and C by 2030. Let's have a look of the way forward. What is this? Interesting is that mother to child transmission is responsible for new infections in India. Elimination of Hepatitis B requires extensive treatment coverage, immunizing, protecting every newborn. This is what the Institute of Liver and Biology Sciences in New Delhi wants us to know. See here, from this picture, it clearly tells. Pregnant women waiting for Hepatitis B surface screening test in Chennai in the year 2021. And again, here, let's have a look on to affordable generic viral hepatitis medicine or low affordable. No, this hepatitis medicine are not affordable. This is what the way forward says. So it should be make or made affordable. Pricing disparities persist both cross and within WHO regions. So. It should be made affordable, affordable, affordable for all. The report adds that the service delivery remains centralized and vertical. Many affected populations still face out-of-pocket expenses for viral hepatitis services. So here, this paragraph defines it should be affordable and services should be also made. Last, certainly not the least. This must look at expanding access to testing, diagnosis, shifting to policies for equitable, equitable treatment, strengthening prevention efforts. This is what the way forward. The article viral hepatitis, UPSC, CSE, WHO alert, quite important article. Thank you.